This story is one about tolerance and one, ce- uh, one, and one about celebrating difference. The state of Washington is trying to improve its transgendered relations, and here is how they plan on doing it. A law has just been passed by the governor, uh, by Governor Inslee, or Inslee, excuse me, rather. And what this law would, this law would get rid of, it would ban 40,000 words from the state's laws, from the state's forms, from the state's, you know, t- filings, this, then, third, all of the state's official language. Um, and some of the words that are subject to change are freshmen, um, because of the word man, men in freshmen. Um, and it will now go to first year student. They'll also be changing the word clergyman and it will just be referred to as clergy. There's a lot of other words that they're changing. This is all in the move to make the state more gender friendly. Um, And this is not the first part of the world that's done this. In France, they've banned the word mademoiselle um, from from their state official documents or from their government documents indicating that that terminology forces one to identify their marital status. And that's not only unfair, um, but, you know, it could alter, you know, decision-making processes. It could alter whether or not you get a job or not get a job. It could alter a lot of things. Um, so this is great, great news as we move on making our country and our world um, one that celebrates different and de- celebrates difference and not condemns it. So congratulations to the state of Washington, who is following in the footsteps of the great nation of France. Mm-hmm.